Hi everyone. Today we are going to show you a new feature called Project Log. You can access this window by clicking this button within each job. The new dialog is used to store additional information about your project. Some of the info is automatically saved when a certain event happens, normally when you create a job, when you duplicate a job, or when you change its status. In this example, I will change the status of this job. As you can see, this is reported on the project log, along with any previous information, such as the creation of the job itself. If I make a copy of this project, the new one will be stored with a log entry showing the source job. Project Log is also a powerful tool to store custom information. You can add a custom entry using type standard and writing down any information regarding the job. One or more operators can be assigned to the entry in order to keep track of the users involved on this event. You can also link an attachment file which can be used to add pictures, PDF files, or any other document required for the log entry. The last type we can use is revision, which is very useful to track down any major changes to the author during time. For example, uh, I will create revision one to note down that the customer chose to replace standard glass with a better one. Here is the revision number one. Then I have to add revision two because the customer changes his mind and decided to switch back to the original offer. The revision number can also be printed on documents using a specific macro that will display the current offer revision along with its date. Here are the two macros that can be used to show that information. Thank you for your time and see you on the next video.